Scott Ramirez, your host of Stand Out and Grow. I want to help your business stand out, survive, succeed, and grow. Building your business is really, really hard. And knowing what marketing and advertising tools you need to help you become successful is extremely confusing. After 30 years of working with thousands of businesses, I am here to help you make good business decisions. I want to help you understand the programs that are available to you so that you can stand out, survive, succeed, and grow. So let's get started. Hey there, this is Kat. And you are live with my live broadcast talking to you today with my very, very, very special guest, Russ Hedge, who I will bring on here in a minute. But let me give you some background about him and what he is going to share with you so you can decide to stay with me and tune in because he has some really great um information to share with you. So Russ is an author of Befuddled. Um, so where the word came up with, I have no idea, but if you know this word, then awesome. And he can tell you more about it. Um, but basically it's about live the life you choose. And um, uh, a line that uh, Russ sent to me in his bio was really amazing. And it really stands to what he is going to talk to you about today. And um, this is, uh, he is called and known as the inspiration specialist. So let me bring on Russ and introduce you to him so that you can get to know Russ. Hey, Russ. Whoop, whoop. Hey, hey. <laughs> How's it going, Kat? It's going great. And thank you so much for joining me today. Well, you are very welcome. I am happy to be here. It's a blessing to know you. Thank you. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. So before we dive into getting to know or understanding our own inspiration, can you give us a little background about you? Oh, yeah, absolutely. You know, it's interesting because I have been um, the crazy sales and marketing guy for years. I love people, right? I love people. I love connecting with people. It's what I'm all about. You know, I love getting out in groups of people. I love speaking to people. And I've been doing that for, I don't know, 30, 35 years um, for corporations. And this little thing happened about two and a half years ago, going on three called COVID. And I kind of shook things up a little bit. I had started, because of my good friend, D. Scott Smith, I had started uh, kind of a side hustle. I uh, wanted to do coaching, consulting, wanted to inspire and encourage people, write a book, maybe do some live streaming, podcasting. And um, so I had started that. But, you know, working for a full-time uh, corporation and managing a team of people took the majority of my time. So I didn't really have time. And so when COVID hit, my beautiful wife says to me, you know, honey, if you are ever going to do this with your business, now is the time. And so there you go. So I made the gigantic pivot, like everybody talks about. Mm -hmm. And uh, Russ Hedge Coaching and Consulting was born. I took off full speed, uh, wrote my book within about five months, uh, started live stream and started podcasting, started coaching, doing all those things. And uh, that has been great because it's all stuff that I had done before. Yep. You know, I, I love, I just got in front of a nice group of people the other day and was speaking. I love getting in front of groups, talking to them. And now I get to talk about what I'm really passionate about, the things that I love to help people with. And so it's been great. It's been a great journey. That is awesome. And you know what? I'm just impressed by the fact that you got a lot done in a very short period of time. I personally am impressed and I think that's fantastic. <laughs> and I think, you know, here's the other thing is like, you really are a resource and a case study of your own, you know, you're a byproduct of your own process. So, uh, which is amazing. And that's awesome. Tell us a little bit about Befuddled and where did the name come from and, and tell us about that. Well, okay, absolutely. First of all, the subtitle, Live the Life You Choose, is me. I feel like I always say life happens and then we choose, right? Mm -hmm. We can't control what happens to us, but we get to choose where we live life from there. So it may be good or bad hits us. And I can tell you more about that. But I really feel like we get to make the choice. We get to make it a good life if we want to. Uh, the befuddled word was uh, from my beautiful wife, uh, probably, oh, I don't know, probably it was a few months before COVID, actually, when I was just kind of 
uh, finishing up my corporate job. And um, I was rushing out to a meeting and I was all discombobulated, all dropping things. I was out of focus. I was befuddled. And so my wife says to me, honey, honey, are you okay? And I said, I'm fine. I'm fine. She goes, no, no, we've been married for 34 years. I know. Are you really okay? Because you look kind of befuddled. And I said, no, 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 I'm not befuddled. It's all good. And so I got in my car, I drive about half a mile down the street and I go, I'm befuddled. I'm completely out of sorts. So I had to start making choices that day to live good, to think good and do the things that I always preach about. And so that's how the book was born. Befuddled, live the life you choose. There you go. Awesome. Okay. So in the, um, book and I have yet to read it. So just so as a, a being transparent, I have yet to read it, but um, I do look forward to it. Um, so um, basically what you're trying to get through to people is how to get rid of trying to make it through the day mentally and, and develop a positive mindset, right? That's that's what you're trying to encourage people to do. Oh my goodness. You said it's so good. You know, there's um, a great song by Stephen Curtis Chapman called More to This Life. And the words are, there's more to this life than living and dying, more than just trying to make it through the day. I actually use that quote from the song in my book. And okay. that's exactly it. I think that so many people are just living for Friday, living for the next vacation. They're living somebody else's life. They're living what they think they're supposed to be doing instead of living the life they choose. And so the whole thing about the book, it is a simple read. It's like 149 pages. I put it in what I call John Maxwell format. He's an amazing uh, guru of leadership. It's simple and easy, bullet pointed, uh, not teeny little itty bitty print. It's made (laughs) so you can sit down in a couple a couple nights and read the book. I mean, it's okay. nice you can get through it. It doesn't take you forever, but it has actionable points on how to get through the day, how to do things that are important. And one thing that I'll just tell you, uh, yeah. I am huge on morning routines. Okay. So I think that the morning, whenever you get up, I'm a 4 a.m. kind of guy, right? So I get up bright and early, super early, and I get going. That's just me. I wake up. I don't even need an alarm clock. I'm just up and ready to go. So, but there's a lot of people that aren't like me, but whenever you decide to get up, give yourself a little time, give yourself a little time for some peace, some quiet, maybe a little exercise, maybe, you know, a little meditation or devotions, whatever you like to do. Um, And I also like to walk. I go swim and bike. I do all of that um, to get myself going because then when my day starts, I feel good. I've had time to really settle things in. The other thing that's really important for me is mindset. And what I do every morning, this is a habit that I developed years ago. Before my feet hit the floor, before I get out of bed, I do three things. And this is in my book. Number one, I'm thankful. I say, I am so thankful for for God and what he's gifted me with, for my beautiful wife, for my family. I have two wonderful adult children that are amazing. I'm just thankful for life. Number two, I say, I've got this. And it's kind of my way of giving myself a pep talk. I can do it. I am gifted in what I do. I, you know, I'm very capable. I'm feeling good. So I give myself a pep talk. And then the third thing is I say, today's going to be awesome. And when I coach people, a lot of them will joke and say, ah, uh, yeah, Russ, I can't say that. <laughs> it's too early. <laughs> I'm not feeling awesome. And I said, well, that's true. Maybe it is early. Maybe you aren't feeling awesome. And I'm not telling you that you have to say what I say. Yep. It's just an idea of how I shape my mindset and my focus and my perspective for the day. Because when I feel, I, I call it putting on my awesome filter. Yep. You know, we all filter life through a certain lens. And I feel like if I'm filtering it through an awesome lens, I'm already ready for an awesome day. It makes everything so much better. Okay. So if, so, so just to put in perspective, uh, and it, I'm just going to clarify so that if anybody is tuning in so that they can relate to what you're talking about, is this the person who currently has brain fog or can't decide whether they can do this or that, or, you know, they're just so, they created all this anxiety on themselves. I mean, is this the type of person that you're really focused on and targeted for this book? Well, Kat, I would say we all have a little bit of that all the time, right? So Mm -hmm. it's targeted at everybody. It's targeted whether it's just moments here and there for you. Because even me and my positive mindset and activity, I have my moments like everybody else. Mm -hmm. It's targeted at that. It's also targeted at people that are completely lacking focus, that are are, uh, depressed and not going anywhere. 
Uh, it's it's really meant to encourage them. And it's got stories about my life. Um, it tells you some pretty tragic things that happened to me. Uh, it tells us about some good, happy things that happened to me. And I relate those stories to the points and the action points I give people in the book. Okay. So do you want to give us an example? Sure. Sure. Uh, okay. So one of probably the most um, uh, pro- just big stories in the book was in 1983, I'd finished my uh, my college uh, freshman year at Oregon State. And I was pretty excited. Went home to work with my dad. He had a business, a new business. And um, we were having a little bit of frustration trying to get something put together. And so I went to play golf because I, I said, dad, I just need a break. Went to play golf. And on the way home from golf, I got in a massive car accident. <gasps> I was flown by life light to Emanuel Hospital in Portland and I almost died. And I uh, had a whole, um, thank thank the good Lord, I had an entire trauma team working on it. I had broken collarbones, broken ribs, broken jaw, punctured love, lung, they both collapsed, brain trauma, brain swelling, wow. uh, third degree burns on my feet. Uh, it was it was major. and um, But I made it through. And what I relate this story to is because I was young and I actually recovered very quickly. I spent a couple, about a week in intensive care. And then I was another about week and a half in the hospital. And they finally just told my parents because they were there every day, go ahead and take them home. We'll just do outpatient treatment. And I got myself through all that and made it back to Oregon State in the fall, believe it or not, after almost dying. Um, I made it back in September and this happened July 9th uh, in the summer. Yep. And so my whole thing was, you know, uh, how precious is life? We need to realize how blessed we are, all that we have. Number two, with perseverance and with action, you can overcome even a massive things like this car accident where they had to cut me out of the car and, and lift me out and fly me via helicopter. I mean, yep. it was a major deal on a major highway. Um, and I still made it through, recovered, and was back to school. So it just goes to show you there's amazing things you can do, even if you're having troubles now, even if you're struggling or yep. you've gone through stuff. Yep. Yep. So uh, I'm just curious, do you work with a lot of veterans or people with PTSD? Well, I do have a couple of friends, uh, a couple of people that I've helped out, but that's not my major area. Although I am wide open to helping people because like I told you at the beginning, uh, I love people in general. Yep. Yep. Um, you know, and I think the two things, you know, I told you that my purpose in life, my why is to help you and your listeners live a purpose driven life of significance. I want to inspire and encourage you to do that. And how do I do that? I do that through all the things. That's why I'm an inspiration specialist, right? Yep. I do that through working on, I mean, a lot of my customers, I'm not just working on their business. I'm working on them personally as well, because you are your business, right, right. Kat? I mean, without yep. you, there's no business for what you do. You are your business. And so we really make sure we're in a good place to move forward. Yep. And so, yeah, that's that's what it's all about. And I think if I can inspire, encourage people to take a look and say, you know what? It really is a wonderful life. And I yep. love that movie, by the way. Um, and so... <laughs> No, and I think that's wonderful because if, you know, let's, because I work with a lot of business owners, so I can understand where you're coming from and the value you bring to the table. Because if I had to think about some of the solopreneurs that are out there that don't have someone to lean on, don't have someone to bounce things off of, or don't even have someone to talk to about you know, business stuff and personal stuff, anything, right. because a lot of times they harbor that and keep it to themselves because they're, they're just solo. They're just like, you know, who else am I going to talk to? And a lot right. of that affects their business, you know, and yeah. it's just like you said, Russ, you hit it right on the uh, nail head is that, you know, if they're not okay mentally and physically as a person with who they are and what they're doing, their business will suffer, you know, right. and, and they need to be excited about it because how are they going to be motivated to get up, right? How are they going to be motivated to get up and say, hey, I'm going to make, what did you say? One of your uh, praises, <laughs> you said, uh, I got this or, you know, yeah. today's going to be an awesome day. How are they going to do yeah. that if they don't have, you know, the foundation or something to bounce off, right? Right. And, you know, I tell it in my book, I agree with you 100%. And that's why Kat, I think you're so amazing and all that you do because you have such a great attitude and you're there helping people and and people look for that. 
You know, and so I was blessed with amazing parents, parents who not only supported everything I did, and I did pretty much everything as a kid, right? I was doing all the sports. I was doing drama, music. I mean, I was going crazy doing as much as I could because I just love doing stuff. Right. And um, so they supported me and all that. They taught me so many great things, but they were always there for me. Yeah. I always felt that they loved me and they supported me and I could talk to them. And also I had friends like that too. But, you know, having that at home is a big deal. Yeah. But a lot of people come out of situations where they don't have that. They may not have a good family situation. They may not have a lot of friends around them because they are a solopreneur. They are in a business where we've been going through this major isolation, right? Oh, so yeah. we've been in, we're staring at our computer screen and, you know, it's tough. It's really tough. And if I can encourage them and tell them how amazing they truly are and that they have gifts and abilities that nobody else has because they're an individual, they're their own person. They can do things that nobody else can do, right? Everybody's yep. got that special something that's them. And so I just think that is what, that's where it all starts for your okay. business. Your, okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, no, I love this. And so, you know, um, being, you know, I haven't really given you the kudos you need because, uh, you know, in case you miss the intro. So Russ is a keynote speaker, a marketing coach, a business consultant, a live streamer and a podcaster. So, whoo, that's a lot. <laughs> uh, and so, you know, his his mantra is to be positive and to uh, help you be inspired as well. And to understand that, you know, throughout the day and, and through our lives, we have have all this busy and hectic and negative stuff that are, surrounds us, right? And the decisions yeah. we have to make that you can transfer that and make that into a positive life, a positive energy. Did I get that right? Okay. Yeah. yeah. And, yes. you, and you need to, you know, these are some things that I say in the book too. I'm, I'm a simple mind, right? I'm very, I just think that simplicity is a great thing in life. Let's not overcomplicate life, right? It's like marketing. Everybody overcomplicates sales and marketing. Let's just kind of take a deep breath. It's not yep. that complicated. But when it comes to all of this, you know, what can people do to, they say, well, yeah, but you know, I'm having these struggles and what can I do? Well, I can give you a couple hints that I give in the book. Number one, when I get up in the morning, you stay away from social media, stay away from the news, stay away from all the stuff the world is bombarding you with and all of the mess on your computer Stay away from that and give yourself time. Whatever you do, you know, I have a I have a specific morning routine that I do every day. And it's funny because one time I had somebody, uh, I was explaining to them what I do and they go, wow, you're like really type A and you're like really organized. No, no. In fact, it's completely <laughs> opposite. I'm right brain creative. I'd like to fly by the seat of my pants, but if I don't give myself some structure yep. and give myself some time and block that out, it's not going to happen. So... I give myself that quiet time and then I go, I, this morning I'm swimming in the pool and I'm thinking, I just love this. It's so peaceful. It's so right. nice. And then I take my dog for a walk and I'm thinking, it's so nice. It's so quiet. No one's making a lot of noise. You need that time because then when the bell rings and it's time to go, it's like, Wah! and yep. there we have to go. <laughs> oh, no, absolutely. Absolutely. And, and you've kind of described some things that I do because, um, you know, as a business owner, I don't think there's any business owner that's not dealing with stress. And if there is, raise your hand and drop a line because I want to know your secret sauce. Because, you know, I I have an awesome team. You know, uh, my business has been around for eight years now, um, but I still have stress, right? I still have stress. And some of the things that I do to to handle the stress so I can sleep at night is I have a journal by my bed. And I write down the things that I'm stressed about because I want to make sure that I acknowledge them. So to me is, hey, let me acknowledge them. Let me write them down because then tomorrow morning, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tackle them, right? I'm, I want to tackle them. So that's one of the things that I do. But I also, you know, make a point that if something overly stresses me, I'm like you. I take a break. I go get a facial or I get a massage. I do something to write, let go. I don't want to think about it. I need to just let go for mm -hmm. a moment, a day, an hour. I don't care. You know what I mean? Right. No, yeah. you're so right. And, you know, people, I have a client that uh, we spend most of the time not talking about his business and what I'm doing for him. We spend most of the time talking about how stressed he is 
and he just needs to get it out, right? I'm kind yep. of his release point. And that's yep. a good thing. Just It goes back to what you said initially. We all need that, whatever yep. we do. And I love your idea of writing things down because really what you can do is when you have those thoughts and you maybe have trouble sleeping or you're just struggling because you're stressed, you take it out of your brain, you write it down, you put it next to you, and then you let it go because you know you got it down. So you know you're not going to forget it. You know it's going to be there tomorrow morning because you're going to sleep anyway. So, you know, that's a good way to kind of push it out of the way. And I highly recommend what you're talking about. When COVID first hit, um, I would, I really kept a good routine and stayed into what I was doing with my business and all that and got online with people and did all this stuff. But I mean, it was like at least four or five times during the day, I'd go, my beautiful wife and I and our dog, our little beagle, we'd go for a walk. Just take yep. a deep breath, relax. And uh, in fact, we walk so much. I tell this story. You know how dogs are like, when it's time to walk and they're so excited yep. By about the fourth or fifth walk my beagle was looking up going really we're going again <laughs> <laughs> was like have we walked enough already today oh. so uh but it was it was a great release and it still is i mean i like i said i do that every morning but it's just a good whatever you do yep. give yourself some time and space. okay so let's talk about okay because you brought up a, another great topic um because during covid i feel like and it's still happening now that a lot of people did isolate, okay? And uh, because for good reason, they wanted to protect themselves and their families. Right. And so now they are still following that trend because it's still okay to get out and meet people or, you know, kind of, you know, meet in like bigger tables or whatever you want to do so that you still mm -hmm. protect yourself. But I think people are challenged by now transitioning to get back to a one-on-one -on -one out and about and things like that. Are there anything, tips that you can offer in that regard? Well, I agree with you 100%, first of all, because as we've been on this up and down roller coaster, right? Mm -hmm. Where, you know, we start to think we're coming out of it and yep. then here comes Delta. And we start to think we're coming out of it and here comes Omicron, you know? And I am, uh, by the way, my wife and I are in the test group. Uh, they put us out through because they like to, they give it to us first. We get to go through it and then we overcome it and then we move on. I'm really hoping that we don't have to stay in that test group because twice right. we've had it already, which is plenty for me. Um, but, <laughs> and I'm a super healthy guy. So I fared yep. fairly well through the whole thing. But yes, what I have told people through that is number one, you've got to live your life, right? Number one, I mean, this is all about live the life you choose. How do you want you, all of this to affect you. I mean, so if if you are freaked out by things, wear a mask. I mean, we yeah. have to anyway still here in Oregon. Wear a mask. Be careful with people. That's fine. But live life. Get out there. Keep moving. Keep your distance. I mean, if people are being a little what you think is unsafe, you can choose who you sit by, who you stand by, yeah. who you talk to, all of that. I just, we have to learn. I've heard the phrase live with COVID. We have to learn to live with COVID just like we learn to live with the flu, like we learn to live with all kinds of other things. And I'm not minimizing anything about what it's done to people. I have really good friends that have gone through traumatic and lost spouses and, and yep. family members. But you have to learn to move forward because if people don't remember before COVID, uh, we were, people were living and dying and people, and we're getting yep. sick and struggling just like they are now. And again, that's not to minimize any of that. You just have to realize we lived with it before and we were able to have a life. So yep. I just encourage people, just get out there, have a life, set your parameters to make yourself feel comfortable, but get out and get going. Right, right. And that's good. Those are great words of advice. And I appreciate that. Uh, okay, so as we are going to spin this around and wrap this up, uh, Russ, is there anything you want to talk to us about the other parts of your business that you do that you want to let our audience know, you know, as you being a resource? Yes, yes, there is. I'm glad you brought that up. Uh, actually, <laughs> because I'm a simple minded guy. And because I love people, RussHedge.com. Okay, that's how you get in touch with me. If you want me to take it one step further, you can go to russhedge.com slash contact and you can actually schedule time on my calendar and we can get together. Kat and I did that. We scheduled time. We got together yeah. and talked. And, you know, what I want to do, number one, is I want to be here to encourage and inspire. There's no, it doesn't cost for that, by the way. Just, just saying. My goal for this year also is I want to connect with over a thousand new people. Nice. And, um, and it sounds like a lot, but really it's less than three people a day. Yep. Um, so 
What I mean by that, I don't mean me sending you a text message or an email and saying, hey, let's get in contact with each other. No, I want to connect. I want to be like this, like Kat and I are talking. I want to be able to at least see you. I might not be able to fly to Dublin, Ireland or to South Africa to see you, but I want you to get on Zoom with me. Let's talk. Let's build a relationship because I'm all about that. So that's the number one thing I want to say, because then out of that, we can Mm -hmm. see where we can uh, collaborate or help each other. How can we help each other? Maybe it's just being friends. I'm good with that. I'm good with that, you know, because you don't work with everybody. And so I am completely, that is my number one thing. I have a workshop that I do uh, called how, um, how to turn cold calling into making friends. Because that's nice. really what life is all about, connections and friends. And so yeah. I want to be your friend. And Kat and I are friends. We're new friends, but she's amazing. And I, this is what I want to do. I just want to make friends. So from there, I can let you know. If you want to know, if you want to know what I can do marketing-wise, what I can do sales-wise, what I can do live stream-wise, or you can buy my book, or you can whatever. It's great, you know. Um, I can throw out there a shameless plug that it's available on Amazon and all and Barnes and Noble all online booksellers. Uh, you can go to my website to buy a book now and get it. I mean, if you want to get it, it's an inexpensive eleven ninety nine. It's a high price book, um, but it's very very uh, nice, uh, encouraging, and simple to read. So Absolutely. those things I want you to know. One more thing, yep. and that is uh, live streaming and live stream producing has been so great because like Kat and I, this is a great way to really make connections and get your message out there. Be top of mind for people. Who is Russ Hedge? Well, I see him on live stream all the time. So I have Marketing with Russ, a.k.a. hashtag Russ Selfie every Monday and Thursday at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. I have The Experience Live with Russ and Scott every Wednesday at 7 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Also, I have a show called Russ Reels that I do um, occasionally, uh, usually three to four times a month, and it wanders. And I have a show called Let's Talk Faith, Community, and Hope every Monday. I mean, every other Monday, so it's every other week one at uh, 12 noon. So I have a lot of that going on, but I'm also producing live streams. So if you're interested in that, I'm happy to help you. And I've learned from the very beginning a secret thing that not too many people do, and that is how to monetize your live stream. I had a class yesterday called How to Monetize Your Live Stream in Five Simple Steps. And what that does is teach you all this time and effort I'm putting into my live streaming. Yep. How can I make some money off that so I can live, so I can pay my bills and I can feed my kids? I can help you with that. And so if those are things that I can help you with, RussHedge.com, that's RussHedge.com. <laughs> and there it is, all of that. Okay, so um, which one do you have coming up? Because uh, the one that piqued my interest was uh, how to cold call, make friends. Uh, do you have a workshop that's coming up? Which one is coming up? I just actually, I finished those two workshops that I'm scheduling next month. There will be, um, it's it's all going to be scheduled probably this week or next. And that will okay. be, how to turn cold calling into making friends. And then I also will be scheduling another how to monetize your live stream. Okay. I did forget one thing that you and I talked about. What is coming right up next Wednesday is a new mastermind. So That's Scott right. and I have the experience live with Russ and Scott, where we talk with amazing people about the experience of life. And um, so, and at some point, Kat's going to be on there. I can't remember. We scheduled you for one of my shows. I forget which one it is. <laughs> We're going to get Kat on that show too. And uh, it's an amazing show. But after it at 1030 Pacific Standard Time, we're having a mastermind around live streaming. It's going to be nice. amazing. It doesn't matter if you're a beginning live streamer or an experienced live streamer. There's something for everybody there. It's going to be an amazing group of people used to lift people up, encourage each other and help us all to grow together. Because I believe when we lift each other up, we do so much better when we're lifting together and growing together. Absolutely. And you know what? Um, someone uh, famous in the marketing trade said, they said, if you are not doing video, which live streaming is a form of video, mm-hmm. in three, within three years, uh, you're going to see nothing but video on uh, social media. So it really is an opportunity to grow your business and stand out uh, and to portray yourself as an expert and so and share that with your community, right? Yeah. And we all are experts in something, right? Yep. I mean, Kat's an expert in everything, but the rest of us are experts in something. <laughs> Thanks, Russ. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Well, 
You know what? This was amazing. And you shared a lot of wonderful information. I hope that um, my listener is going to connect with you and check you out because I think you have a lot of uh, great uh, programs coming up. And so I will make sure that I add those to um, all of my um, places that I have you uh, streaming today uh, so they can connect with you. And uh Again, Russ, uh, if they wanted to reach you out to you directly, they go to your website. Uh, you're on all social media as well. Yeah, I love connecting on LinkedIn. LinkedIn is okay. a great platform. Um, so RussHedge.com has all the, you can go to the bottom of my webpage. It's got all the links to all my social media, all the stuff there. So it's really easy. Um, but if you want to just go to LinkedIn, you just type in Russ Hedge on any social media, pretty much any of the major ones. I am there. And all of my live streams uh, are, are broadcast on LinkedIn, Facebook, and YouTube. Okay. Uh, if you want to subscribe to my YouTube page, that's great. And if you can't tell, I love to talk. So <laughs> keynote speaking, I didn't really highlight that, but I love to talk to people. And as you see, it gets me a little bit fired up and I love to inspire people. So if you want somebody to light up the room and encourage you, no matter where you are, I'm here for you. Okay. Now, anything special for my viewers? If they reach out to you? Yes. Well, what I wanted to say is, um, you know, my obviously the book is the biggest thing that I'm doing. And I tell you what, I wasn't going to do this, but I'm going to put together something special just for your listeners. If you okay. connect with me and you tell me you saw me on Cat Show, I will knock off a few. Seven is my favorite number. So here's what I'm going to do. My book's $11.99 normally. For those of you that are interested, I will make a special deal with my publisher for $7.99. I'll give you a promo code if you contact me. So the book will only be $7.99 and uh, that just covers my cost basically. And so, yeah, I'd love to get that for you. Awesome. Awesome. Well, I appreciate that. That's wonderful. Well, thank you for joining me. I appreciate it. You you have been an inspiration and uh, just wonderful to talk to. And again, I really hope that everybody who tunes in really has a takeaway, right? They have a takeaway and, and they're ready to tackle 2022 because right. the 2022 has to be different. It has to be. Um, thank you again, Russ. Thank you. Thank you so much. And thank you to everybody else who uh, tuned in. I appreciate it. Uh, I've changed my time a little bit. So uh, today was at 1230. And I think I'm going to keep it at 1230 moving forward so that more people can join in. So make sure you drop in the comments below um, that you tuned in either live or the repurposed broadcast. And uh, let me know where you're tuning in from. So until next time, you got this. Thank you so much for listening to this episode of Stand Out and Grow. Check out all the notes and links at www.standoutandgrow.com. I am so thankful to you for helping this show continue to grow. I want to keep producing content that you want to hear, so please leave me some feedback. I look forward to bringing you more resources and information to help your business stand out and grow. Please follow us on social media and make sure you follow this podcast so you can learn more about helping your business stand out, survive, succeed, and grow. Until next time, you got this. Advertise helps businesses stand out and grow with affordable advertising options. We will help you make good business decisions so you can save money and not just throw it against the wall to see if it sticks. Get your free strategic advertising analysis today so you can see the opportunities to stand out and grow your business. Visit www.standoutandgrow.com offers page to learn more.